video will be going over the design and building of a spiral staircase. Here are all the materials. There's a couple of completed steps here. The area where it's going is in this ship container, which is standing on end. So the result will be a staircase about 40 feet tall with four landings and then access to the roof. I started out here. This is four and a half inch schedule 40 steel pipe bolted right to the ground. The treads, I started out with four by 10 sheets of diamond plate, three sixteenths. I had them cut into nine pieces, so there's no waste. So that ended up with a 40 inch by nine inch tread. Then I had a local steel yard bend, do two 90 degree bends in them. And then I ended up with a shape that was nine inches on one side and 13 on the other. So there's an example of that. Um, this is the tube that fits over the four and a half inch schedule 40. I used this big square tubing because I couldn't find another pipe that would fit over it in that big of a size. If you were doing a smaller staircase, you could probably get away with some smaller material like this. This is probably four and a half inch pipe and four, I don't know what this is, but they fit. But I wanted something pretty substantial for that. So these are all gonna get welded together and you know, it's gotta be strong. It's going up 40 feet. So these steps I did, the, here's the math how to do this so every floor was a little different so we have 102 inches 108 110 and then 154 but that's coming out on the ceiling so it's that may turn into a ladder um, so to figure out how to make this so it's actually gonna get gonna go together and you're not gonna make yourself crazy you want about an 8 inch tall step so I divided so that ends up being about 14 steps per landing. So then you take 102 inches divided by 14 steps, and then you need 7.2 inches of rise per step on the first floor. The second floor comes to 7.7, .7 and the third comes to that. So I had the steel yard cut all, the, all of these at the right heights. Um, it was a lot easier to have them do it because they have the proper tool that cuts that easy and, and turns out perfectly square every time. I, I could do it with my plasma cutter, but it just, it would take longer and it, it's hard to cut through something like that and get it perfect every time. Okay, I'm gonna try to put on the first step here. So I'm kind of doing this by myself and they're a little heavy, but
I'm gonna kind of end this how-to video at this stage. Right now, the first section of stairs are done. Um, and I am ready to pretty much start the second section. But it's all gonna be about the same. So everything here is welded. It's ready for paint. And then the banister has to go on. Um, for the banister, I just use the plumbing pipe, the plastic stuff for underground well lines. I have some over here. And that works pretty good because it's easy to bend. You just screw it on. It's, it's sturdy. It's never cold when you grab it. It's cheap. So I'll just do the same over here. So I'll do a, another video probably less of a how-to and more of just the time lapse showing the rest of it being built but there's uh i really got to get this next next thing up because right now you can't get from the second story to the roof again which is kind of annoying because to go outside is kind of a long walk so that's kind of high priority then the fourth floor where there's nothing even up there yet just the roof of the container um, that needs to be done too. And then at the very end, it's gonna turn into a ladder so you can get onto the top of the tower, but then I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff up there too.